Uh, Logan? No. No, 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 no. That's what I think it is. Papa Jake is not opening this. Hey yo, what's going on Papa Jake fam? It's Papa Jake here and we are back with a brand new video and today guys uh, I decided to do something a little bit different for today's video I wanted to do another mystery box now you guys know I absolutely love buying mystery boxes I love opening them because you never know what you're gonna get normally what I do is I go on eBay and I pick something You know like a Fortnite mystery box or just a regular mystery box, but today Today guys, we're doing something a little bit different. All right ordering a dark web mystery box. Now, that's right, we're ordering a dark web mystery box. Now, I've never done this before. I saw some videos on YouTube and I was like, yo, I gotta try this. This looks so cool, but also creepy. And like, I actually just got goosebumps thinking about it. I was like, I don't know if I should be doing this, but I found one online that wasn't too expensive. It was like $200. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's order it. Let's see what we get. There could be some weird stuff in there. Now, I haven't told Logan yet. I placed the order a little while ago and we actually just got the box in today. So I gotta go show Logan because I know he's not gonna be happy happy about this. If you happen to be brand new to the Papa Jake family, we're always doing new and crazy things on this channel like opening mystery boxes, building forts, doing fun stuff. Hit the subscribe button down below and if you like these, what's up guys? What's up man? I was just telling them about today's mystery box challenge. Now Logan, I gotta I gotta let you know. Jake, why is it so dark in here and it's scary? It's spooky because of the theme, Logan, okay? What do you mean? What did you order? Dude, I ordered a dark web mystery box. What? There's like tons of people doing it on hey, YouTube. Hey, no, Jake, that's not cool, man. I, I didn't sign up for it's, that. It's, it's, we can't turn the lights on. It's creepy time. Dude, it's fine. Look, it just came in today. So I started vlogging. We're going to open it. It was kind of sketchy, but I used PayPal to buy it so that they couldn't steal my credit card. Jake, no. And what? Bought, Why are you on the gloves? Because there's like could be weird stuff in there. Okay, Jake, I don't want anything to do with this. They want us to open the box, Logan. You guys want us to open the box, right? Put put a hashtag open the box down there if you want us to open it. We can't just have a box come in the mail and not open it, Logan. We gotta open it. <sighs> okay, guys, so here it is. This is what came in the mail. It came in this morning. Look, Logan, it's not, it's not that creepy. Now, I did go ahead and I taped it up. I, I had to tape our address on it. So, you know, it's got some pink tape on it. It looks even more friendly now. I thought based on what I saw on YouTube, these boxes would come and be like dark or black or something like that. Uh, scary. Uh, yeah, it's a bit beat up. Okay, let, let's take it in the kitchen, guys. Let's check it out in there. First off, just looking at the box here, guys. It, uh, it doesn't look as spooky as I thought it would be. You know, I thought, I thought it'd be coming in like, like all dark webby or maybe covered in cobwebs. It's not that bad. It looks like a normal box. Uh, it does say open first up here, which is kind of weird. And it says men's L on the side. Yeah, I admit there's like some scratch marks on it and stuff, but I'm assuming this is all just from like shipping. That's a bit weird, but anyway, I think it's all from shipping. Wait, Logan, before we jump into this, almost forgot. We need to wear protective gloves because it is coming from the dark web, which uh, means I have no idea what could be in this. So Logan, here are your gloves. Just in case guys, I don't know what's gonna be in here. I've seen some videos where people get some weird stuff. So let's uh, let's get these on and then we can dive right into this. We don't know who sent this, some random guy did? I don't know guys, okay? But what I do know is we're gonna open this up and whatever's in here, I have a feeling that's not gonna be that bad. Smack the like button down below and we're gonna open it right now and check out what's inside. But at first, Logan, I need my cutting tool. Logan, this isn't a cutting tool. Logan, this is a lemon! I can't cut a box with a lemon! Although there is that when life gives you lemons, you make not a cutting tool, that's for sure! Logan, give me my cutting tool. Logan, this is... Oh wow, it's actually Nutella. That's pretty sweet, dude. Oh, we're gonna have some Nutella here. Guys, let me know if you think lemon Nutella would taste good. Okay, you didn't know when Logan, Logan, I do not have time to eat my super yummy lemony Nutella. I just want my cutting tool, Logan. Where's the cutting tool? Why don't you just get it yourself? You know what, I will! Got my cutting tool. Careful, because we don't know what's inside this, so I'm gonna precision cut this. Ah, open. Open this up like so. And, ooh, all right, all right. Okay, so we got some uh, green packing tape here. I love how Logan's wrap. slowly moving back. I have to be the one that's up front. Okay, I well. didn't want to do this. Oh. Okay, now it's like scraps of paper. It's like they ran out, they ran out of good packing tape. Uh, lots of paper here. Is that, oh, dude. I'm starting to see some stuff. Uh, it looks like there's like a, a black, is this like a shirt or something? Is this like someone's shirt? I don't know, look, what is this? It looks like a tablecloth. Oh, dude, there's like a face. Yo, check it out. Guys, there's like a face on it. There's like a, like a weird, creepy lady looking at us. Okay, so first thing we pull out of here is uh, is definitely uh, weird. I'm gonna put this on the side though, because there is a lot of stuff in here. I think this might have just been like a cover or something. Uh, Logan, 
No, 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 no. That's what I think it is. Papa Jake is not opening this. <gasps> no! What is that? I'm glad I'm wearing gloves now. That's not real. That's not okay, real. Get rid of it. No, no, it's not real. It's not real. It's look, look, plastic. No. It's false alarm. It's plastic. I don't know if this hair is real though. Hey, what's up? I'm the talking head of the Dark Web Mystery Box. Okay, I, I'm gonna put this on the side. Uh, but yes, guys, this is this is fake. Although I don't know what this hair is. So, what's this? It looks like a radio or something, guys. Check that out. Do you hear that? No. Uh, I think there's something inside this radio. It's like a fake radio, guys. It's made out of like, um, not like plastic, but almost like acrylic or something. Let's see what else is in here. Got some more of this paper. There are some extremely weird kind of cards in here. I mean, it's a moon, but this kind of looked like it was a sun. Yeah, wait, wait. This kind of looks like the face on that. Yeah, it's like the sun. It's like a weird sun face. Kind of reminds me of like a Ouija setup or something. The fact that someone put this together on the dark web creeps me out. Okay, let's see what else is here. Uh, looks like there is a small box. It doesn't open. Can you get that open? Uh, okay, open the latch. It's not opening. Oh, I see what you mean. It doesn't open. But it has like, look, look at it. There's definitely something in it. Oh, dude, check this out. It's like a pocket watch or something. That is cool, guys. It's actually not even that creepy. It's like pretty interesting. I don't know why it was hidden inside like a false top in this weird box here, but um, we're gonna put this on the side. We got some more stuff in here. So let's go back in here and check it out. Oh, dude, check this out. Look at that. It's a lockbox. Okay. And there's something inside. Guys, I think this could be extremely important. It's three digits. And that's not gonna work, okay. Why would someone just send us a lock without a code? There must be something in here that tells us how to open this. And guys, check it out, this thing has been beat up. It's got scratch marks all over it. Let's keep looking through this stuff though, because there's probably a reason for this. Okay guys, so check it out. It's like a box on it, it says alphabet. Hopefully nothing jumps out at us. Whoa. The alphabet, but all scrambled up into weird numbers? So far, we haven't gotten anything really scary except for that head. That was pretty creepy. Hey Logan, I'm starting to realize, I think this might be one big puzzle. Maybe everything that we're finding has something to do with that lockbox. Before we get into this code, let's see what the last thing is here. It's a, it's a book and it is... Jake, it's also covered in wax. Yeah, dude, this whole thing has just been smeared in wax. The history of the world. Okay, that's kind of weird. I think I'm gonna need to cut it. Hold on guys, I'm gonna have to cut the wax here. Oh! Whoa. Uh, guys? Whoa. It's not a book, it's like some sort of locked container. So we need a key. Wait, wait, maybe, wait Jake, maybe the key's inside here. Oh yeah, you're right. If we can get this open, we might be able to find the key for this. Guys, when I first saw this, I thought this was gonna be like a creepy book of spells or something, you know, something to do with the Ouija stuff, but this is getting way more interesting. I was really expecting to be creeped out and now I'm kind of intrigued. This is like one big puzzle. And in order to get in here, we need three numbers. Well, this pocket watch could be numbers. Uh, it is two, two ten. Ten can't be a number because there is no ten on here, but two might be. So maybe two. Okay, so what we have left is these weird alphabet letters, which is like a jumbled code. And we have, oh, this. There's something in here. It looks like they sent us a big screw. You think that's part of it or to open this? Hammer it, I guess. All right, stand back. Whoa. Okay, that works. It's kind of, it's kind of creepy. You want to, you want to empty it out? Oh, okay, but just stand back, just in case it's something bad. Woo! Whoa. Jake, it's the number three. Oh, nice. Okay, so number three, so we have two, three, and then the last number, uh, we need one more number. It's gotta have something to do with this. And Logan, check this out. If you pull these out of here, I think I know what these are. So on the front side, you can actually see that this is the letter S. So on the back side, it's like a rubber stamp. I think these are old newspaper print letters. They used to print newspaper using these. They put the newspaper on top like this, squish it on there, and if these were covered in ink, it would leave an imprint, which means there might be a code in here, dude. Okay, so how do we see the code? We need something, we need something like ink, something inky, uh, and a piece of paper. Hold on, hold on, stay right here. All I could find was this glow-in-the-dark paint, but I think I can use this to make an impression. So I'm gonna spread it up along these letters and then we're gonna imprint it on a piece of paper and see if we can read some sort of code. Okay, here goes nothing. I don't wanna mess this up and get them all out of order, that's for sure. All right, it's gonna be kinda hard to get a proper impression, so it might take a few tries. 
here goes nothing. I almost have something here. Uh, hold on, let me try this again. See so if we can get a better print. Check this out, check this out. So look, I was reading this. This is all like gibberish here, but look right here. The something is six. I'm assuming that was supposed to be number. The rest of this is kind of gibberish, and this is the only other place that a number is present, right there. This means that, this has to mean that the number is six. So that means we have two, three, six. Two, three, six. Here goes nothing. It works, guys. Check it out. It's been more of a massive puzzle than a mystery box, and it all led up to getting this key. Which goes in there. Open it, Jake. Dude, I don't know, man. I, I don't want it. Like, th so far the scariest thing we got was this dude. And he's not even not that scary. Put that away. Like, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put him away. But dude, what if something really scary is in there? What if something really weird is in there? I don't know if I want to do it. Guys, do you think I should open it? Let me know in the comments. Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. But if something really freaky is in here, this is on you guys and Logan. Even though I ordered it. Uh, Logan? Oh! Uh, I don't know what that was, but- It looked like a piece of chicken! Oh. Like a little stuffed animal pig. Jake, it's so cute! We went through all of that for a pig? Hello! Why would whoever put this mystery box together put all of this for a pig? I thought there'd be like money in there or, or something really cool. Feeling around. At first I started shaking him because, you know, there's been stuff inside things. And then I started feeling around like this. And it could just be the stuffing, but there might be something in here. I think we can call it a day. We did the mystery box and like, we can go home now. Logan, I think I almost got it. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, Mr. Piggy, by the way. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that. It looks like a key. Oh. What is that? That's a USB. That is not going in my computer. What if there's like 100 Bitcoins on this? There, there could be like crazy stuff on this. It's weird. Yeah. Okay, well, Logan, grab your computer. We gotta put this inside No, it. Jake, I am not putting well, that. We have to put it. It's the no. final item. So far, this mystery box seems like it was some kind of game someone put together. I really want to put this in our computer. I really want to see what's on this. Yes, it's probably not a good idea, so we're gonna leave it up to you guys, okay? If you think we should put this in our computer and see what's on it, put a hashtag USB in the comments down below, and let's try and crush over 40,000 likes on this video. Uh, guys, don't do it. I really don't want to see what this is. Well, it's up to the viewers now. We'll see you guys next time.